Xena, Warthog Princess, with another viewer requested video. This video request comes from Mindy, who asked to see the Lug Roundabout 2 versus the Vera Bradley um, Deluxe Altogether Crossbody. So we will take a first look at these two, but then we're going to look at this whole spectrum of bags behind it because they too are in the same category and well you always get more than you ask for so we'll do this part first and then we'll look at this other section and I'm just gonna leave these here in front of me because yeah I don't want to make a mess but okay so first let's look at the lug roundabout 2 this one is in heather gray it has a removable wristlet strap and it also comes with a longer strap that you can use for your crossbody or shoulder strap as well, but it is removable. It also can function as a belt bag, so you can use that as the belt. So it's a very multifunctional bag. Overall size compared to the Vera Bradley um, Deluxe Altogether Crossbody, this one is in Romantic Paisley, uh, but size-wise they are the same width approximately. The roundabout is actually one finger wider. Um, if you look at the depth of them, they're very comparable. They're different configurations, but you can see capacity-wise, they're roughly the same squished. And then height-wise, the roundabout too is about a finger, finger and a half taller as well. So they are definitely in the same category of bags. They're both all-in-one type um, setups. So going back to the roundabout too, it has two zipper compartments. The front one, you can see, is a double zipper. So it opens like that, oops. The back is a single zipper, and it comes all the way around end to end. And then you also have this front pocket on here. So this front pocket is soft lined with a nice fleece, and that is a perfect pocket for your phone. My 6S Plus fits nicely in there. You do have to angle it in just because the zipper kind of confines that top part, but the pocket is actually bigger. So there you go. It has this nice quilting on it too. Uh, it's like diamond with a line through. Okay, so that's the front pocket. The front section, the main front main, is a built-in wallet, like big time. You have a cash drawer on the front. You have eight card slots, four and four. You have four more opposite that, plus a clear ID window. You have a zipper compartment. And then behind that, you have space and you have another soft lined pocket. Your phone does also fit in there. A little bit tighter fit for mine, um, so I wouldn't put it in that soft lined pocket, but that soft lined pocket is a great place for smaller phone or really anything you want to put in there. It doesn't have to be tech or whatever, but I put my sunglasses there as well. So, but my phone does fit in the space in front of that, so if I did want to put it inside, I could, but honestly, I put mine outside. Um, you could also put the phone in the slip pocket on the back. There's no closure or anything. It's just a slip. That's where I store my strap. Okay, so that's the first section with the double zipper on it. And then the back section here is more utilitarian um, setup. So you have four elastic straps here that you can put things like hand sanitizer, chapstick, lip gloss, lipstick, uh, whatever. It pens, whatever you want. Opposite side, you have a mesh pocket. It is a zipper closure on that mesh pocket, and the whole section is plastic lined in clear plastic. Here you can see the interior pattern. It's like a tropical floral look to it. Yeah, so that is the roundabout two. This entire bag is gusseted very nicely, so when it's up against you, you can, it like fans out in this nice, I'm gonna unzip it again. So it fans out like this, so very accessible from the top, you can get to everything. All right, so now let's zip it up again. Back zipper all the way up and around. There you go, we'll just set that in front. Now, the Deluxe Altogether Crossbody, completely different layout, but again, capacity is very similar. So on the front, you have a zipper pocket. It goes up and around, and it is lined. In here, I have the removable, adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. This one is in a faux leather matching blue color, but this pocket is plain. There's nothing, no organization in it, but it is a large pocket. And this is my same phone, fits perfectly inside that pocket and zips up nicely. There is room for more in there. It has a, 
a good amount of gusset to a full finger width plus. Um, so let me put that back. This one does not have a belt bag option, although you could still potentially do that. You just would have to jerry rig it. So here's your little loops where the strap connects. So you certainly could put that strap around your waist and, and it would hook on like that. It just is not designed for a belt bag per se. It could function that way though. Um, this one also has two main sections. One is a zipper, the other is a snap. So let's start with the back to front. This back section is like your wallet part. You have your cash drawer right there. Also, you could put your phone there if you so desired. It fits very nicely in that section. Um, but for me, I would use that um, possibly as where I put my cash. Then you have three card slots here, three more here. You have a removable checkbook cover, so you could take that completely out. And on the back of the checkbook cover is another clear ID window. Oopsie, coop down. Uh, so you have a big slot here. You have a zipper pocket behind that that also runs the full length down there. And that's this section. So let me put all this back. Do, 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 do. You can also buy checkbook covers separately from Vera now. Um, so different patterns, like not everything comes out in every pattern and style, so. But you could. So this one is a nice snap. It's a single snap closure, but it is pretty, generous space in there so you could bulk that section out a little bit the second section which is your main main um, it is the greater width of the bag there in the middle it has mirror image you have two big slips so two cash drawers in front of each of those you have six card slots three and three and then in the middle you have a clear id window and a zipper pocket for coins or whatever and it's gusseted as well so also very accessible. If I was wearing it like on my shoulder crossbody or a belt bag, you can get into it very nicely. The trick for this one is if you were trying to use it as a belt bag, the back snap section would be a little less accessible while it's on the body um, versus the roundabout, which is top accessible on both. So you could access it. It's just, you know, a little awkward to get that snap open and get in there. But crossbody, it's not a problem. So that is the Deluxe All-in-One. Um, again, the fittings on this one are on the top, the roundabout's on the side. The roundabout does come with the wristlet strap, the Deluxe does not, but that doesn't mean you couldn't hook a wristlet strap on there, you just have to get the strap from somewhere else, but there are plenty of bags to pick from. So let's put these into the order they would fall on this spectrum, and I'll explain how we got to all of this from that. So. Um, here's here's the look. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items here, 13 different styles. Uh, well, yeah, you'll see in a second. So they're all all-in-one type crossbody wristlet bags. Mostly they can all be worn as a belt bag in the same way I described for modifying the deluxe altogether but mostly they're crossbody wristlet type items. So we'll go big to small. We've got the roundabout two on this end. And the very next item that would almost come to mind for me is the coupe. This one is in Wildflower Multi, but the coupe and the roundabout are similar, but definitely different. Um, the coupe is smaller in, um, it's the same thickness, but it's smaller in width and height, um, so about three quarters the size, I would say. Um, the coupe structure has two pockets as well. So you have the front and the back. And the back is privacy pocket and you have a clear ID window. The front, which has the removable adjustable strap, is just a pocket. The phone fits perfectly right inside that pocket, no problem. It also does not have a slip pocket on the back but it does have the, the loops, so you can make it a belt bag. A lot of people call this their house bag, actually. Um, and there's the, the strap on the end where you can hook it up for your crossbody. But this does not come with the wristlet strap, which I don't understand why, because this is a perfect wristlet size, honestly, because it's just smaller enough 
than the roundabout two to be a better fit for me and it's just a great size so i would totally use this as a wristlet and i would just cannibalize a wristlet strap from one of my other matching items like maybe the tandem or the splits xl or the handspring or another bag that has a wristlet strap easy peasy so that's the lug items and that's it for lug that i have on this table but since we started with the deluxe all together i thought well this one is in cotton and i thought we should at least address the performance twill option so here it is the same exact item in a different fabrication. So this one is Performance Twill Deep Night Paisley Neutral, um, which is a water resistant um, fabric and more wipeable and so better for me for COVID whatnot. So that's where my brain went to just share same style, same structure, but different fabrication. And inside of this one is just navy blue, but it has the same removable checkbook. The checkbook in this one is installed in backwards and which is how I really would do it. So I'm gonna go flip the other one back around. So the, the clear ID is on the outside. So even when you're not using the checkbook, you could still use that slot for an extra ID slot in your wallet pocket there. So let me just flip this one because I'll forget again to put that on the outside. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so that's the deluxe altogether. And in that same exact category, I have this item from Sack Roots. Um, and sack roots s-a-k-r-o-o-t-s this one is like a vinyl coated or plasticized outer so this i had bought um, years and years ago they do still have this type of item available um, but i bought it because i would i wanted something that was travel capable that would be wipeable you know safe also perfect for right now with the covid world it's small compact take just what you need and you can wipe it down and sanitize it because it's totally plastic covered. But size wise, I mean, it's it's pretty much the same size. It's just not quite as thick, but that is okay. The phone fits right in the front. So this looks like a turn lock opening. It's faux though, it's just decorative. It's actually a snap opening. Um, and I have the strap. So there's a crossbody shoulder strap. And in this pocket, which has its own gusset there, is a perfect place for my phone. It fits very, very nicely in there. It's completely covered, but it's a perfect fit. And there's the snap. And the snap does have two snaps, so you could put something thicker in there potentially. And, you know, then it gives you a little grow space to utilize. Um, okay, this has a wristlet strap as well. It does come with the wristlet strap. Because of the way that the hooks are oriented here for your crossbody, you can also do it as a belt bag. Really the same is true for all of these. Um, although that would not be my first choice, just not my preference. But this one is basically just a big wallet with a phone thing on the front. So it has the dual big slots and then eight card slots on each side, four here, four here, four here, and four here, and just the coin zipper in the middle. But all of this is that same plastic coating except the middle part, and that's just like a nylon with a faux leather trim. But this is a great bag. I've used it a lot, and you can't even see any of the wear and tear on it. It looks brand new still. Totally love that. Sack Rouge is great. Um, but along those lines, then I looked at the factory style, and this one has a different name. This is the factory style RFID wallet crossbody, and this is in the Moonlight Navy, which is a denim. Yeah, I have not used this particular one. I have another one like it that I have used. But it has a magnetic hidden magnet closure, which I like. But it's a trifold wallet, essentially. Um, so there you go. It's just a trifold wallet. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine card slots there. Two big slips behind it. And then you have three more card slots here. A clear ID window and, oh, sorry, that's four more there and a clear ID window. Um, it is RFID though, so that's nice. And then you also have, and you won't see it very well until you get up close, but you have this wristlet strap that's built in, but it just tucks back into the bag. So you can use it as a wristlet or you can just slide it back in and now it's, it's not there. So it's totally non-obstructive and very usable. On the back, you have the zipper section, which zips from the edge all the way back around the edge. 
And this is where I store the crossbody wristlet strap, or sorry, wristlet when I'm not um, on other bags, but this one doesn't have a removable wristlet strap, just the crossbody, which is adjustable, but the phone also fits perfectly in that slot with space to spare. Okay, so then we go from that down to, okay, factory style, factory style, because I thought all in one, all in one. So then I went to the Lighten Up 3-in-1, which this one is in Paisley Amethyst, but it's, it's definitely a um, similar type style. So you have on the front, you have a flap with a snap. That's again where I store my wristlet strap and crossbody, depending on which one I'm using or whatever. Um, they both are removable. And this, this is where I keep my phone when I'm using this item. They're a great grab and go, but the phone fits perfectly inside there. And then the flap covers it so it's secure, but still quick access. This is lighten up, and so it's water resistant. And then it has two main compartments on it. So you have your front part, which is your wallet part. You have a cash drawer. You have four card slots. The bottom one is your clear ID, and then you have four more here, and it is RFID as well. You have two big slips behind each side in the vertical additionally, so that's nice. And then your second section in the back is like your accordion portion. This one doesn't have any card slots in it, but it's just extra space. Your phone can fit there as well. And then you have the zipper coin part right in the middle. So kind of the regular all-in-one style. And then we put the strap back inside. Okay. And then this one, because I started thinking, okay, the lighten up materials, same type of thing. So then I jumped over to the retail side. This is a reactive, which is the same style bag. This one is in Heather Gray, um, but size and style and structure is basically the same bag. So let's look at this one real quick. This one has a slip pocket on the back, which the other does not. It has a chunky zipper, single section, not double section like that one. So this is your accordion style wallet. You have two big slips. This side you have two card slots. You have the middle zipper. The opposite side you have a clear ID window and then you have two more card slots here and two more here. So not as great a capacity as far as number of slots or number of sections, but plenty of capacity. And then your front is just the same. You have that um, portion where I store my strap. This strap is a nylon strap, which not my favorite, but it's reactive life. Um, but you have a clear ID window here as well for quick access, you know, flip up, there's your ID. But my phone fits in there just like the other. Removable strap is also a seat belt. And because it's reactive, it's all like plastic fittings. But moving from this, then thinking, okay, reactive, that's kind of like lighten up and the lighten up all in one came next to my brain. Um, and these are all stored in the cabinet together, so it wasn't a far leap for my brain to jump. Um, but this is the Lighten Up in Splash Dot. This is the all-in-one crossbody wristlet. So there's your removable wristlet strap. It has the front flap, which is a half length, um, the old style anyways. And then inside, again, you have your removable adjustable crossbody strap. And the phone fits there, same. So this is like the three in one from the factory style. You have your front portion, which is your wallet, all the same basic configuration there. And then the back portion is your accordion style. But in this version, compared to the factory one, this one does have all those extra card slots and stuff as well. So I do prefer this um, basically, but it is slightly heavier too. The outlet version is lighter, but they're both light and up and they're different feel materials, but. This one's just more robust overall. So there you go. And then, you know, you think lighten up, all in one, well then you look at the cotton is the same. So again, that was a quick, easy shift over. This one is in lilac tapestry, but the same configuration we just saw. So I'm not even gonna open up all the pockets. But there you go, and the strap. Um, all the zipper pulls are similar. Most of them are ribbons or ropes um, or rubber. Yeah, I didn't talk about it along the way, but that's okay. Um, now, going from the older style all-in-one to the newer style all-in-one, they are slightly different. 
In this one, the flap is like half length, and in the newer version, it's all the way down, just like the all-in-one before from the outlet side. And also, this one has the zipper pocket inside that back accordion section. The newer version has it on the back, on the outside. This is actually my preference of format because it is bigger. The whole entire thing has a greater capacity. This front pocket with the flap is twice as big, at least, um, compared to that one. And I like that full flap is just kind of a nice touch. So same thing, I have the removable strap um, in there. And this can fit my phone. It actually could fit two of my phones in there, not that I have two. But I do like that coin slot on the back. The same two main compartments as before otherwise. The only difference is in this back compartment, since the zipper pocket is now on the outside, that opens up this whole compartment to be a lot more space. So another place you could put your phone, like for example, if I want to put my phone in this back section, the front section is my wallet, that allows me to use this as a little purse. I could put chapstick and a mask and some hand sanitizer in that front section and it would fit very nicely and I have everything I need still with me. This does have two card slots right here as well. So that's a comparison. But then since we're talking about the retail side all in one, I thought, you know, materials wise, it would only be fair to share the leather version as well. This is the newer style layout, just like the one we just saw. The exception is there is no zipper pocket on the outside because while well, it's leather and you don't really want to break that up if you don't have to, I guess. So this one instead puts it back on the inside and you do have a bunch of card slots in here and two big slips. So slightly different layout, one to another version of these. Um, but there you go, the rest is the same, same. And there's your medallion interior. This one is a mold wine color with the stamped painted leather. Yeah, it does have the metal zippers, but they work pretty smoothly on the leather and the wristlet strap. Okay, then looking at the same type of bag, we look at the VBU, Vera Bradley U. Um, and this one is in Petite Garden. I love this pattern. It's just fun. Um, it's adorable little pieces. And when you look at it, there's quite a lot of detail in it, actually, and including little snails like this one. I'm not a big snail fan, but I think they're cute, and it fits with the pattern. This one has the full-length flap. It has the clear ID in the middle, so it's kind of a combination of all the things we've just seen. It does have the single-section back part. Ooh, that snap. There it is. Um, it has a slip on the back, and then it has a single section, so kind of like the reactive all-in-one. Um, but you have the accordion style, two big slips, two card slots each side, and then the zipper in the middle with the clear ID window inside there, and that's it. So pretty simple. The straps on this one are like, this one is like a canvas on one side with denim on the other, like the uh, chambray color. And the other strap is the same. So chambray and, and canvas weave, but like a cotton canvas weave. Okay, and then comparing, let's look one last thing. This is the older style of the all-in-one and it's just smaller. So this one is in Plum Crazy. And when you look at them side by side, the older version is much smaller than the other older version. <laughs> so oldest, not as old, and then the newer we already saw in the um, Red, White, and Blossom. Sorry, I didn't even say the name before. So there you go. This one is again the same layout and whatnot. It's just smaller. So older phones like my iPhone 4 would fit in this one actually, um, as long as it didn't have the life proof case on it. But, but it did fit in here. And so older phones, or if you're not needing to put your phone in it, this is a great little size. Um, also, you know, like kids, for example. But it's great for adults, too. I still use it. I have a matching bag that this goes with. But, but there you go. So that is then the whole spectrum that branched and grew out of the roundabout versus deluxe altogether. So thank you, Mindy, for that request. I hope that does answer your questions and then some and definitely shows the whole spectrum of that type of bag. Um, but there you go. Take care, have a great week. Bye for now, washi washi.